Kuzuzangpo and welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am No Bizam from Kurutang Middle Secondary School. This is a mathematics lesson on 2D shapes and polygons for Key Stage 1 classes PP2-3. Alright children, take a look at these pictures. What do you think they are? Well, these pictures are called shapes and today in this lesson we are going to learn about these shapes okay and by the end of this lesson you should be able to identify and name 2d shapes then you should be able to describe these 2d shapes and finally you should be able to identify polygons Okay then, let us start our lesson. Take a look at the object that I'm holding in my hand. If I want to trace around this object on a piece of paper, how would it look like? It would look something like this, right? Well, the thing that I can pick, the thing that I'm holding is a 3D shape. Now what is a 3D shape? A 3D shape is a three-dimensional shape that takes up space. The three dimensions are the length, the width and the height. Okay? Now the thing that I cannot pick the picture that is on the paper that I cannot pick is a 2D shape. Now, what is a 2D shape? A 2D shape is a two-dimensional flat surface. Okay? The two dimensions are the length and the width. It does not have the height. And in today's lesson, we are going to learn about 2D shapes. Alright? Now take a look at this shape. Have you seen this shape before? Well, this shape is called a square. The spelling is S Q U A R E square. You can see this shape on the faces of dice or boxes, right? Like on the Rubik's Cube, you can see the square face, right? Now take a look at the second shape. Do you know what this shape is called? This shape is called a rectangle. The spelling is R. E C T A N G L E rectangle. Where can you see rectangles? Well, you can see rectangles on the surfaces of tables or packet of biscuits or shoe boxes, right? You can see rectangles everywhere around you. Okay. Now, these two shapes have something in common. Let us look at what they have in common. Look at these two shapes carefully. Do you notice that these two shapes are made up of straight lines? Well, the straight lines that form a shape is called sides. Okay? And they also have something in common again. Now, there is a point where two sides meet. That point is called a corner. So if you look at these two shapes carefully, they have corners. Okay? Now let us look at each shape one by one. Let us go back to learning about the square. Now, let us count the number of sides this square has. So, 
One, two, three, four. A square has four sides. Now let us count the number of corners a square has. One, two, three, four. A square has four corners. Now let us look at the rectangle. A rectangle has one, two, three, four. Four sides. Let us count the corners. A rectangle has one, two, three, four. Four corners. Now you might think, oh, a rectangle and a square both have four sides and four corners, so they must be the same shape, right? Well, look carefully at these two shapes. They are not same, right? A square is a special type of a rectangle. If you look at a square, you will notice that the sides are of same length, right? Whereas in a rectangle, the parallel sides are of the same length. So look at rectangle, see? You can see two long sides and two short sides. Now that is the difference between a square and a rectangle. All right, now take a look at this object. What do you think it is? It is a yummy piece of cake, right? Now look at the top of this cake. What shape do you see there? You will see something like this, right? Now what is this shape called? This shape is called a triangle. The spelling is T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E, triangle. Now you can see triangles on pizzas, right? You can also see triangles on the roof of the houses if you look carefully. Now let us learn more about triangles. Let us count the number of sides a triangle has. A triangle has one, two, three. Three sides. Now let us count the number of corners a triangle has. It has one, two, three. Three corners. A triangle has three sides and three corners. So remember, a shape which has three sides and three corners is called a triangle. Okay? Now let us move on to the next shape. Have you seen this shape anywhere before? Well, you could see this shape on ornaments like rings or earrings. You can also see these shapes on patterns of our Go and Kira, like shown in the picture here. Now this shape is called a rhombus. The spelling is R-H-O-M-B-U-S, rhombus. Now let us count the number of sides and the corners for rhombus. One, two, three, four. A rhombus has four sides. Now let us count the corners. One, two, three, four. A rhombus has four corners. Now, you might notice that a rhombus looks similar to a square, right? But they are different. How are they different? Well, a rhombus does have the sides of equal length just like a square, but look at the angles at the corners, okay? A square has right angles on all four corners, right? Whereas a rhombus does not have right angles on all four corners, see? So that is the difference between a rhombus and a square. Now take a look at this shape. Have you seen this shape anywhere before? Well, this shape is called a trapezoid. The spelling is T-R-A-P 
E Z O I D trapezoid. Now, in some schools, you might find tables inside the classroom having the surface of this shape. And also, how do you all draw the roof of the houses? You draw something like this, right? Well, that is the shape of a trapezoid. Let us count the number of sides and corners for this trapezoid. A trapezoid has one, two, three, four. Four sides. Now, the corners. A trapezoid has one, two, three, four. Four corners. Now, we have looked at some shapes which has four sides and four corners, right? These are the shapes with four sides. Now, four-sided shapes are called quadrilaterals, okay? Shapes which have four sides are called quadrilaterals, quadrilaterals. Okay, now take a look at this shape. Have you seen this shape anywhere before? Well, this shape is called a pentagon. The spelling is P E N T A G O N pentagon. You can see these shapes on a football. Now look at the picture of a football. You might not have noticed before, but if you look carefully at those black and white shapes, they have five sides just like this shape, okay? And you might also see clocks of this shape. Again, you might find ornaments of this shape as well, like rings, earrings, lockets, okay? Now let us take a look at the sides and the corners of a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides. Now the corners. One, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five corners. A shape with five sides and five corners is called a pentagon. Now take a look at this shape. This shape is called a hexagon. The spelling is H-E-X-A-G-O-N, hexagon. Where can we find these type of shapes? Well, if you're holding a pencil right now, look at the end of your pencil, the unsharpened end of your pencil. You can see this shape. You can also see these hexagons on the metal nuts. Now let us count the number of sides and corners for this hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six sides. Now let us count the corners of a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six corners. A shape with six sides and six corners are called hexagons. Now take a look at this shape. Have you seen this shape anywhere before? Yes, you have seen this shape a lot of times, right? Now here are a few examples of where you can see these shapes. Well, you can see these shapes on coins, you can see these shapes on clocks, and many more. Now, this shape is called a circle. The spelling is C I R C L E circle. Now, do you see any straight lines? On a circle? No, right? So, does it have any side? No, a side is a straight line that forms the shape, right? Now, 
Do you see any corners on a circle? Look carefully. No, right? Now, we have looked at different 2D shapes, right? 2D shapes with three sides, 2D shapes with four sides, 2D shapes with five sides, 2D shapes with six sides, and also a 2D shape with zero sides and zero corners, right? Now, tell me, have you ever heard the word polygon before? No? Well, then let us learn about polygons. Before I tell you what a polygon is, let me show you some shapes here. So look carefully at these shapes. Ready? Take a look at shape A. This shape is made up of five straight lines, right? And it is a closed shape. The straight lines are joined together, right? Now take a look at shape B. Shape B also has five straight lines. But is it a closed shape? No, right? It has an open side, right? Now take a look at shape C. Shape C is made up of four straight lines. Take a look at shape D now. Shape D is made up of two straight lines and a curved line, right? Now, take a look at shape E. Shape E is made up of three straight lines and it is a flat shape, right? Now, let me tell you that shape A, C and E are polygons. Shape B and D are not polygons. So, can you tell me what is a polygon? Look at these shapes carefully well a polygon is a two-dimensional flat shape that is made up of straight lines okay take a look at shape a it is a two-dimensional flat shape right it is made up of straight lines and it is closed take a look at shape c it is made up of four straight lines, it is a flat shape and it is a closed shape. Again, take a look at shape E. It is made up of three straight lines, it is a flat shape and it is a closed shape. Okay? So, these are the features of a polygon. Now, take a look at all these shapes. All of them are polygons. They are all flat shapes they are all closed and they are all made up of straight lines. It doesn't matter how many lines they are made up of. As long as the shape is flat, the lines are straight and the shape is a closed shape. Okay? Now, take a look at this circle. Is circle a polygon? We have learned about the three features of polygon, right? So, is circle a polygon? Think carefully. Well, circle is not a polygon. Why? Circle is a flat 2D shape, right? It is a closed shape. Then why is it not a polygon? Well, it is not a polygon because it is not made up of straight line. It is made up of a curved line. Okay? Alright children, in today's lesson, we have learned about 2D shapes, two-dimensional shapes. The two dimensions are the length and the width. We have learned 2D shapes with three sides and three corners. They are called triangles. 2D shapes with four sides and four corners. They are called quadrilaterals. And we have learned shapes with five sides and five corners. They are called pentagons. 2D shapes with six sides and six corners. They are called hexagons. And we have learned what a polygon is, right? Well, all polygons are 2D shapes, but all 2D shapes are not polygon. Please remember that. All right? And 
To check the understanding of this lesson, here is a short activity for you. The first one is draw two quadrilaterals and name them. You can draw any two quadrilaterals. In this lesson, we learned four quadrilaterals. So you can draw two and just name them, all right? Then look at the clock in your house. What shape is that clock when you look at it? The face of the clock, okay? Then draw a 2D shape that you can see in your house and name that shape. Just look around your house. Just uh, look at the things near you and find a 2D shape. Look at the face of the things in your house and look for the 2D shape. Then write the name of that 2D shape, all right? And the fourth question is, write if that 2D shape is a polygon or not. Now let me explain how you're supposed to do question number three and four once again. Take a look at this object. This is a cloth hanger, right? We can see it in our house. Do you see any shape on that cloth hanger? Well, I can see a triangle there. So, what do I do? I draw this shape and then name this shape. This is a triangle. Then, for the fourth question, I have to check if this triangle is a polygon or not. For this shape, it is a polygon, right? So, we write it as, it is a polygon. That's all you have to do. I'm pretty sure you would be able to do all these activities correctly. Thank you very much for attending this lesson. See you in my le next lesson. Thank you.